back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Sunless Skies where we left off, we were at Magdalene's, we cured some of our terror, apparently our ship got turned around backwards, but that's okay, no big deal, and we are on our way to Port Prosper to figure out why some supplies never reached um, that other place, way down south, the stain, or Leadbeater and Stainrod's Nature Reserve. I need to go... Actually, we can go a different way to Port Prosper this time. Go exploring a little bit. Usually we'll take it right there and uh, take the safer route, but let's see what this snowy path will lead us to. Perhaps we'll find Lustrum. Who knows? I also have a weird pain in my like neck shoulder area today. Oh, Jesus. Good god, there's a lot of horrible things happening here. Oh, he just took a broadside. That hurt. Oh, Jesus. Everything is going wrong right now. This is... We should not have come this way. Okay, we need to find... We need to try and get into a combat stance with this guy. He shoots so fast. Even compared to us. Oh god, we're gonna die. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get back to Magdalene's where it's safe. Ish. We should never have come this way. Must dock. Actually, we don't need to necessarily dock. We can just hide here. There's dreadnoughts and tachydes around. Maybe they'll fight the dude. I wonder if we can shoot from inside the dock area. Let's turn around a little. That was an awful situation. Look at our health. It works. You can totally shoot from inside the dock. I don't think it can shoot into the dock. I don't know if that's good. I don't want to leave because that thing is lightning fast. And now it's turned around. Now I can't shoot at it. Come to the other side. Where's that dreadnought when I need it? Oh, did the dreadnought die? Come on in. I'm waiting for you. This is... No good. I missed twice. Damn it. It's so hard to get a beat on this guy. He's so quick. I can escape back into the port if I need to. Oh god, he's like in the port area. I don't know if he can actually come in here fully though. I think his juddery movements stop him from doing that. He's bleeding? It's hard to tell if he's taking any damage, really. I mean, his ship is smoking, but that just could be his engines. Okay, back to this side, I guess. He can definitely shoot towards the dock and shoot at Magdalene's. These guys are horrifyingly fast, though. Like, their movements are just so unpredictable. They're very hard to hit. I missed that attack. There it is. Come on. Come back around. Holy, this has been a bad start to this video. Okay. We need to get out of here, but we can't, because we will die if he hits us with another big volley. This is the safest place we could possibly be at the moment. It's not all that safe. He's keeping the dock between us and him, which is normal. There's a hit, finally. Oh, bumped into the dock again. We can't repair here, so that's bad. 
we are at six hull out of 40. I think you can use supplies to repair though. Actually, if we look at hull, I think we can repair with supplies, but I don't remember how. Maybe it's R? It's gotta be controls on this. Secondary, no. Being around. R is dock, so it can't be that. Just come into firing range a little bit. Shit. shit, 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 don't shoot at me. It just dodges so fast. It's impossible to like line up a shot on it because it just sidesteps. It's very good at that. Yay, we survived. Okay. Step one. Don't die to that. There's stolen home bursts open under your gunfire. Thousands of wriggling guests spill into the night, glistening like the ooze from a blister after it was lanced. Your blasts have ripped open one of the crew quarters. The revealed insides has pustules of nascent guests hanging from the walls. Salvage. Scrap to repair our hull. We need to do that really badly. We gained to seven hull. Okay, we're gonna head up to Port Prosper now, after that nightmare. And I wanna seize the cargo, but actually, yeah, we should be fine. We got one mangled tackety nameplate and one bronze wood. I'm glad we did that, because bronze wood's worth a fortune. All right, let's move. We're gonna take the safer path for now, because we are low on life and we can't really afford another big fight at the moment. Holy god, I can't believe that the uh... The ships are so hard to fight. They're really fast. I don't know how to fight them yet. We're gonna figure that out. There's gotta be a better way to take them on than to just... hope like hell they run into your gunfire range. We can enter the ship. We have a 45% chance. We could also just heal more, but let's let's enter. Oh, we failed. That's not good. What did we do? We lost a crew? Oh, we gained terror. Okay. That's fine, then. That's the same thing we've read before, but there's a bulging sack this time, and it has one jumble of undistinguished souls. We got a little bit of terror. That's not such a big thing. We can deal with that. Let's get to Port Prosper. This way was safer, as I recall. I remember those ships being a lot easier to kill in the early access. I think they've uh, buffed up their speed a little. Oh god, there's an engine in front of me. What kind of engine, though? That was a dreadnought. Okay, we're fine. Hi, dreadnought. Hello, good friend. Why are you on fire? Did you take some... Why are you in my way? There we go. That fight was not very, uh, profitable for us. War is almost never profitable. Ooh, a ship. The Contra Mundum. We can try and go in again. Again, 45% chance. Yay, we succeeded this time. We donned our suit, and we found another bulging sack. And it is almost 50 sovereigns. That's a good amount of repairs. That is more than we would have gotten from repairs. Assuming we got about 7-ish hull repairs, that'd be 21 sovereigns. So we've made some profit on that one. Alright, let's try and get to the dock where it's safe-ish. There are two dreadnoughts here fighting. Our goal is just to sneak past. There are a lot of different ships here. I don't even know what that ship is. It's really quick, though. 
come back. I don't know what you are, and I'm kind of curious. Your glorious dreadnought, I see. The HML ubiquitous. The Mornington Abrathat Span. Oh, we're gonna flip the docks because I'm an idiot. Alright, let's land and see what we can do here. You'd think that this place would have a repair station, but I don't think it does. It does not. Perfect. Alright, let's explore port explore port prosper. We're writing a port report, of course. Which we've already done before. Let's attend a performance at the Gaudy Widow. The vaudeville theater tends towards either quaint or vulgar, or on good days, both. Located at the edge of the west end, overlooking the bridge, the gaudy widow promises unpretentious delights for most of the family. Although out of fashion in New London, the broad amusements of pantomime and vaudeville still carry favor with the well-heeled of the west end, though they are of course careful to never enjoy themselves too much. She's behind you, a poster reads, what oh, japes. An enthusiastic peal of bells rings over the rooftops, the Albert clock is chiming the hour. Let's enjoy ourselves. We fail to enjoy ourselves. Oh, you know this one. Was it adapted from Menander? The jokes are certainly better this time, even if the historical accuracy is dubious at best. Locals stroll about the mushroomy vistas of Hyrus and the floral exuberance of Titania without a care in the world, except for what dear old Auntie back in London might think. And soon she too is on stage, having to come around on the starlit ideal of the Reach. Your laughter is heard from the gods, several notables stare at you pointedly. We lost a westward reputation because of that. Oh dear. Let's recruit the incognito princess? What does she give? Mirrors and hearts. It gives us some boheme affliction. She's only a hundred bucks. Yeah, okay. I am a humble first officer, looking for, what's the word, when commoners do things for coins, she asks. Work, that's it. She beams at you, delighted, as innocent as a gatling gun. As she steps on board, a commoner calmly takes a spoon from his pocket and scoops out his eyes. After such radiance, all else is tawdry, he says between screams. It seems she's already forgotten about her signing on money. Apparently we didn't have to pay her. Or did we? I don't know. I can't see my money yet. We did not have to pay her. Interesting. Well, we're going to buy some supplies and some fuel. But we can't because we don't have room. What do we have in our inventory that's taking up so much room? Oh, wait, right, we got a bunch of stuff. What is this? Oh, yeah, we needed to bring guns here? Yes, we needed to bring uh, ammo here. We made a ton of money, actually. We gained one supplies for a new total of three. We gained 10 fortunes with the stovepipes. We got 150 experience. We got three reputations with the Windward Company, but less than, or three less for the Tackities. And we can buy ours here, but we're not going to. And we made, you know, $450. So a good amount. Uh, we're not going to resupply just yet. There's a Albion thing close to here that we have to go check in on. Which is why we came out here to start with. The Albion Relay. Which I think is right there, actually. And turn. Alright. The Albion Transit Relay. Let's check on the delayed package. It turns out that the previous courier was detained for having the wrong paperwork. Fortunately, the goods were impounded on this side of the relay. A stone edifice scintillating with sigils is encased in a contrivance of steel. Sorry, one sec, I have a phone call. My apologies. So we'll start back from the beginning of that sentence. A stone edifice scintillant with sigils is encased in a contrivance of steel and brass. This is a Singh Jenkins relay, allowing transport via a loophole in some cosmic mandate across the sunless wastes to a far-flung district of heaven. This one leads to Albion, the heart of the new British Empire and the seat of her renewed majesty, Queen Victoria. So, we're checking, we're checking on the delayed package. 
The board customs official is glad to clear out some space in their cramped office as long as you don't want to travel between regions and without the appropriate paperwork, they couldn't care much less about cargo. This package has been serving double duty as a card table for the last week, but now it's yours. And the people of Lead Be or Lead Better and Stainrod's Nature Reserve. Is it Lead Better or Lead Beater? I'm gonna look into that. Uh reserve will be glad to receive it. We've collected the goods. We don't need a travel permit. We don't need to, we need five hundred dollars to go to the next area. Let's remain in the reach, because we're not leaving. Now is it actually lead better? No, it's lead beater. I was right the first time. Okay, good. There was a typo there, apparently. I thought for sure that it was lead beater. I was a little bit worried that I've been wrong. Sometimes typos make me second guess myself. Which is normal, I guess. I'm just gonna check really quickly what we're at for time. When we stop videos, it kind of messes things up. Okay, so we have about half of the video to go still. Excellent. Let's continue on our way. We're gonna head back south towards Leadbetter, but we're gonna take a different route. We're gonna go to New Winchester first and then down uh, so we can repair on the way because we got smashed pretty hard there. I also want to go up to the north at some point because I want to find Lustrum. We need to repair before we go do anything silly like explore further. Plus we can sell some of our junk in uh, New Winchester, like our bronze wood and whatever else we're carrying. That glorious dreadnought looks really cool. It's like a very shiny dreadnought ship. It has an aura of light. Apparently it's just better than everyone else. It thinks it's so special. A broken habitation long abandoned. There's another normal dreadnought. Looks like it's taken some damage. It's hard to tell. That horn, that murr sound, that's the sound of the dreadnoughts when they're engaging in combat. It's usually a bad sound if it's near you. Where am I? Okay. I wish... The one thing I wish this game had was a mini-map. I would actually kill for a mini-map in this game. Just like one up here or something. With just a little bit further than you can see. Oh, there's something here. We can see what that is. We can scoop, but we don't have any butchery stuff yet. Maybe we should clear enough inventory space to get our mining drill equipped. Be a good call. Alright. We're getting pretty explored in this first area, though. We've gotten quite a bit of it. Quite a few of the lanes safely looked at. I do want to go this way eventually again, because I think there's more over here. And I'm certain there's more over there, and I think there's more over there as well. At the very least, Lustrum is in here somewhere, and we haven't gotten it yet. We haven't found, I think, two of the ports here. I think we're at 9 out of 11, or possibly just 8 out of 11. Almost at New Winchester. And then we'll head to Leadbeater, and then we'll maybe we'll go south. From Leadbeater, we'll head this way and see what's over there. That's what we'll do. That is our new goal. Eventually, I'd like to go over to London. Well, eventually, we'll have to. There's four areas. I looked into it. Do we want to risk a fight with a Marauder? Not really. Could we win? Probably. But, at the same token, we're very low on life. And one solid hit's going to take out a good chunk of our ship. Unsettled dreams. That night your sleep is peppered with uncomfortable dreams. The sky of your dream is blazing gold. It's peppered, no crowded, with suns. Suns piled on suns like the groats in a miser's hoard. The light floods you and shines through your skin and blood and meat, picking out your branching veins and the slender pillars of your bones. Is there no more to you than this? You wake. We can gain a tale of terror. We can try to make sense of the dreams. Which we trade three tales of terror for a vision of heavens, and we will gain terror. Hmm. Do we want a vision of heavens, though? We 
don't have much of a chance of the uh, Seek Company one. Let's try and make sense of the dream. No. We get just straight up five terror. The pieces won't come together, unfortunately. We have lost our dream, gained some terror, and we need to leave again. Unfortunate. We need better mirrors. Our mirrors are not very good. What is our mirrors at right now? It's not there, is what it is. Oops. It's under K. What is Captain? Oh, well, that's good enough. Our mirrors is only 10. Ugh. On one hand, I liked that we went Irons and Hearts because there's some neat things with it. But I think when we do the Truth of the Stars playthrough, which is the second one, later on we'll do Mirrors and Veils. I think there's some neat things you can do with Mirrors and Veils. Although it seems Hearts is way more prevalent in this game than the last one was. Hearts were not super important in uh, Sunless Seas. We've arrived in New Winchester, we'll repair, we will sell some stuff, we'll head back out. We're only going to be here for a second. Unless there's something really important in the station that we need to poke at, but I don't think there is. Uh, no. So let's repair. That was an expensive repair. 87 sovereigns to repair our ship. Ugh. Bizarre. Oh, we can get hours for lead beater and stain around nature reserve. We need five barrels of hours. I'll take that prospect. Sure. Do we have any hours at the moment? I need to go to my bank. Oops. No, we have stained glass. Was there one for stained glass here? No, nectar. Okay, well we don't have any nectar for sure. We also don't have any souls at the moment. We're going to have to find some. We have nothing to sell. What is the Wrath of Heaven? That sounds like a cool gun. The Uninvited? It's a tier 2 gun. We can't buy it, obviously. I wonder what's the difference between cozy and sensible cabins is. Oh, crew. We need more hearts for it, though. Wait, we have hearts. Oh, it's a tier 2 thing as well. We really need to get to tier 2. Alright, let's sell some junk and get out of here. Bronze wood sells for a ton. Uh, we have dried tea. We'll sell the undistinguished souls as well. We'll sell one of the dried teas. Just to clear out some inventory space. We have four crates of munitions. We still need one more? Or are we done with those? Hang on. Where are they going? Five crates need to go to a lustrum. So yeah, we need one more crate of munitions. Which means we're not going to be equipping our... Drill, because we need fuel and supplies. Okay. Uh, I didn't mean to send out my bat. Alright, down to the reserve one more time, and then we're gonna head east. East into the unexplored. At least we found that package that we needed to get. And we almost died, because that one ship is really hard to kill. Scamps, narrow. Oh, there's a ship of some sort here. Oh, it's a tackety ship. I'm not too worried about those yet. They don't love us, but they don't hate us to the extreme that they'll fight us at the moment. Which is good, because what we don't need it right now, anyways, is a war against New Winchester. New Winchester is largely controlled by the Tacketys, at least for now. And uh, a battle with them every time we go to New Winchester would be kind of irritating. Especially since it's our only port of call for repairs at the moment. Other than just shooting enemy ships and using their scraps to repair our hull. I 
think this gun had a longer range in the early access. Maybe not, though. Can't recall exactly how far it shot. We're almost to the place where we need to be. We'll drop off the supplies, and we should have some time still to begin our journey to the east. And then we'll pause. I won't turn off the game, because you can only save at docks in this mode. If we keep dying, which is a possibility, of course, because obviously this game is a very survival game, we may go the route of the Merciful campaign. I'm not planning to, though, because I prefer the danger of permanent death. It just is hard to make a video series if you die at some point in time, because then you have to redo a bunch of stuff. And no one wants to watch the same thing over and over again while you try and get one fast apart. For now, though, we're almost there. delivered the previously impounded goods. There should be payment for delivering this. 200 sovereigns. A researcher fetches a crowbar to open the crate. Finally, he extracts one of the several bottles of mushroom wine. Do you have any idea what it's like to be you're being sober in this damn place? That's it. It was just... It was just money. Or it was just not money. It was just wine. How silly. We could join a hunting party. An opportunistic ranger smiles, a mostly, mostly toothless grin, and shows off as many scars from the beasts of the nature reserve. Irons is our only good chance, but we don't even have a great chance that we succeeded. What threat can a few unruly animals be to an armed group of the sky's finest? Our terror has reduced, and we have one caged catch. The animals of the nature reserve flee from your careful, methodical approach, your rifle fires, and a promising one falls to the ground, wounded but alive. The opportunistic ranger binds its legs tight, ready to shove it into a cage once you return to the docks. I shall feel great about that one. Not a fan of hunting, not that I disagree with it on principle. It's just not for me. I'm just not a big shooter of things, or trapper of things, depending on what kind of hunting you do. Oh god! You suck! Stay away from me! Who hides like that, you jerk? Come on, come right at me. How much life do you have? Damn, just die. I didn't mean to set up my Z-Bat. My F button and D keys are way too close on this keyboard. Anyways, we're looting the hold, because our mirrors suck. A faintly luminescent crate, which has one vision- oh, vision of the heavens, nice, that's worth a ton of money if we sell it, but we don't want to sell it, we want to keep it. And we did find something, so that's at least a plus. Let's begin our journey. Maybe Lustrum is in the snowy area. I remember it being a snowy place in the early access, I think. It's hard to it's hard to remember that was several months ago and like five games ago. Including Skyrim, which everything is snowy in Skyrim and I could just be remembering Skyrim. We're sticking close to the lovely shore, just skirting along this little narrow path. I remember the beta being, or the yeah, beta, the early access being more open, to be fair. Like, it's very, there's narrower passages here, which is good, because adding more things is important. Especially in a game like this, where a lot of it's atmospheric and narrative, you need to have, like, a lot of stuff. What is this? There's something here. It's the ruins of something. It's a space station, or not space station, but like a dockyard. The window frames serve as a trellis for a vine circumnavigating the signal box. The plant stem resembles a thick, or a thigh thick twine, giving the building an appearance of a hurriedly wrapped parcel. 
Inside, beneath a desk covered with rusted leaves, or levers, sorry, is a luggage trunk. Captain's dire need can borrow from the cash inside, or inside, but custom distaste they must later replenish it. Hmm. You know what? Let's read the ledger. First. We gained two sky stories. The handwriting is poor but legible. Captain Welton withdrew fuel, giving no reason. There's a column for miscellaneous notes. The captain describes a field of debris they flew through to reach the signal box. Each rock was bursting with life. Tiny flowers, the color of milk, jostled in the currents of the engine. The locomotive was overwhelmed with the scent of honey and home. We don't really need anything at the moment. So let's leave. But you can, yeah, you can take things if you need to. Oh, there's a... Someone's homestead's here. We should probably go stop in. You can tell by the, uh, lips. We can trade a sky story for supplies, which I think we'll do. New customs spring up quickly in the high wilderness. One of the most widely observed insists that a good story may or must be repaid with gifts. Supplies are good. Oh, don't crash. We crashed. Slightly. We still have three fuel and four, well, almost three supplies. So let's continue on our way. We have some time left. Oh no, we don't have time left. We're out of time. Unfortunately, we haven't bought more hours in London. Ha! Topical humor. Anyways, we'll call it a video here. In the next video, we will figure out what's attached to this place. It looks like there's actually some sort of building there. This might be part of the nature reserve though, so let's not get too excited as to what it is. For now though, I will leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I will see you all next time. Take care.